Hello and welcome to Task Stream, presented by St. John's University School of Education. This video will help you share your webfolio. You will learn how to get feedback and how to publish. Before we begin, make sure you are signed into your Task Stream account. Click on the Folios and Web Pages tab at the top of your page. Choose which portfolio you would like to share from the title column. Select the Comments tab and click on the Request Comments button. Another window will open where you will be able to select which area you would like feedback on. After you've made your decision, click the Continue button. Here you can choose the recipients you would like to present the chosen aspects of your web folio to. When you are done, click the Continue button. After receiving feedback and refining your work, you may decide to publish your web folio. To do so, choose the Publish slash Share tab. You have two options here. Create a printable PDF or create a URL. To create a PDF, click on the Create a Printable PDF button. Quick tip. The title page that TaskStream produces is very bland. If you would like one that is a bit more eye-catching, then create your own. Choose what documents you want to show in the section labeled Appendix. You can decide what specific artifacts you want to show, or you can choose to select all of them. After you are done, click the Continue button. Before you move on, review the list of artifacts that have been chosen. When you are satisfied, click the Generate button. To create a URL, click on the Email This URL button. On this page, you must choose what recipients will receive your web folio. Click Select Recipients to pull up a list of categories of who you can send it to. Click on Select Categories slash Local Areas, then St. John's University, and then School of Education. Here you can choose between faculty and students to compile a list of people you would like to send your web folio to. When you are done, save and close. You can select between three options of how much access the recipients have. You can allow them to just see it, you can allow them to edit this version of your web folio, or you can allow them to edit any area of your entire web folio. If you would like to send it to a possible future employer, you may enter their email address in the field labeled Enter External Recipients. Under the area labeled Personal Message, you may enter comments and directions for your recipients. For the final area, you are able to customize your web address. There is an ending provided, but you may edit it. You also have options here to include a password to add security. If you choose to send a password, your recipients will receive an email containing a link to your web address and a password that you have created. When you are done, send your message. Publishing your web folio is very similar to creating a URL. After clicking the Publish button, you will again be prompted to make a customized web address and a password. No one will have access to your web page but you. However, if you want others to have access to your published web folio, then you must send those desired a message containing the password. If you ever want to edit your published web folio, simply log into your TaskStream account and make the changes here. The changes will immediately show up on your published web folio. If you ever want to take down your web folio, click on the Publish slash Share tab and click on the Unpublish button. You can also edit your password and URL. You have just learned how to share and publish your web folio.